picks it up well, then drops the footy. Now through the middle, I think it might be Nolan. And the umpire will come in and have a secondary bounce in the middle. It was Nolan with the ball, hands it back to umpire Stokes. Purvis just pushes uh, Weiss in the back and will uh, get a, give a free kick to the interleague ruckman. Jamie Weiss handballs it away quickly and short little kick to, from Longstaff finds Greed, still in the middle. Of Osmond Park going to the northern end, the Magpies, he goes long, looking for Smith. Reddick worked his way to the front and now handball, Mr. Target from North Geelong. McDonald's there also, pack develops at half four, the umpire will come in. And ball it up. But already, Jason, North Geelong have got it in the danger area. They've got it on the opposite side where Anarchy tried to take it forward. And I think they're in the right spot. So a ball up. McDonald went up for the ruck contest in the end. Mulder got a left foot kick around the corner towards the boundary line. Greed coming at it. Chris Fitzgerald. And Greed sees it over. We'll have a boundary throw in. in between wing and half forward. So Weiss will do the ruck work against Purvis. Andrew umpire throws the ball in now. Purvis to the front, gets it down, but only as far as Cranage. Handball back towards Weiss, left it behind. Had Nolan in support. Scan got it away to Greed. He goes with a right foot kick towards centre half. Ford Smith, Smith at the back. Oh, it's just mark. in the right spot and took a good mark. And will shoot for goal from 50 metres out directly in front. A good kick, Laurie, even though he's got a bit of breeze. The ball's going to be a little bit heavy and uh, well, the man on the marks at 45. I was watching on that warm-up there for Eric, though. We're actually kicking from there. Uh, their forwards had a few kicks at goal and uh, he was getting it fairly close from there. But, of course, half an hour footy, if they're using the same footy, would be pretty heavy. There's a big gap there for someone to run into, isn't there? Yes. If you were switched on, you'd be in there, wouldn't you? Kick 33 goals this season, Paul Smith. He comes in with a left foot kick. Hasn't quite come around far enough with the breeze I don't think and through for one behind so they go to 3-3-21 North Geelong they lead Anarchy two behinds Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard two minutes played so Moore chips in short has found uh, a teammate in Habib. Habib in the back pocket he's chipped it out to centre wing and they've controlled the footy Anarchy as the mark has been taken out there for them chipped towards centre wing there looking for Fitzgerald he does well almost takes the mark can't bring it to ground whoever and uh, now it stacks on the mill. So on true centre wing out of side, the umpire will put the ball in the air once again. They've been doing a bit of that today, and it's Weiss and Purvis, as they've done all day. Tapped uh, forward for Anarchy by Purvis. Going, uh, well, just uh, weight of numbers is trying to push it forward along the ground. Another whistle on play. They've gained 20 metres, Anarchy, but the ball will be put in the air once again. So between wing and half forward out of side, Umpire puts the ball up. In front there is Weiss, but from behind Purvis gets the tap down, finally picks the footy up himself towards half forward. Man in front looks like Elzinger to me, and uh, been paid the free kick. An infringement there in the marking contest. Elzinger there, long and low to centre wing. Good mark Weiss. there by Weiss at the back, and uh, one grab. He's got players running, gets the handball clear. Well, it can't be too oh. bad. It there it was a nice little bounce there as it went, but... Terrible kick straight in the arms of Moore at half forward. Oh, it's Cummins. Oh, Cummins, beg your pardon. So uh, he's chipped it out wide and finds Moncter. Still on half back flank. Left footer, kicks it high in the air. Bruce holds it up just a little. All north along there, but uh, roving the uh, crumb pretty well. Was uh, Anarchy through. <coughs> is it uh, Dover out there? No, Dover's a centre half Chris forward. Fitzgerald. That is Fitzgerald. There's the ball uh, out of bounds once again. So this time, neither Ruckman get a tap on the uh, the ball. Habib, handball back to Purvis, towards uh, half forward, taking the footy, Anarchy, chip it forward to uh, full forward, in front hooper, one hand, you can't mark him that way, son, but the ball comes to ground. Nice handball. It's a uh, chance for Anarchy here, but oh, great defensive work by uh, North. They've bottled it up. Dover accepted the handball, went straight through his hands. Now North out of trouble. Cranage can't run under the footy. Moncter can't pick it up. Now uh, North, good work there by Fitzgerald. Well, player thrown. Habib hasn't got the footy, certainly. And uh, we'll get the free kick man on the mark on 50. And uh, an obvious free kick to uh, Jason Habib on that occasion. They're looking for uh, somewhere to go. Not too many options. Very crowded up forward. Now Fitzgerald leads. A terrible kick. And uh, just filling the gap there for North. Longstaff. Mark, Mark taken by Longstaff. Read it pretty well. Goes across the ground to Flack. He's got Scan further across the ground. Finds him. Now they've got the loose man. Greed. Oh, kicks it high in the air. Greed gives oh, him a fair task, play. but he does well. 
picks up the footy well under pressure he's kicked at the lorry in the uh, press box and uh, out of bounds through the interchange gate and the ball will be thrown in on center wing so uh, did well in the first stage, Groot, then Laurie, but the, uh, the kick let him down a bit yeah, under pressure. Yeah, I, I think certainly uh, Daryl Jones has tacked his max to get, this, get the ball out this side of the ground as much as possible and uh, see if they can use the wind to bring it in and uh, kick some goals. A nice throw in in front of us and uh, the ball tapped down by Weiss, but unfortunately uh, on that occasion McDonald not able to control the footy, kicked it along the ground and uh, north have gained about 10 metres. So the ball again to be thrown in by the boundary umpire. Almost six minutes in the second quarter. Purvis uses good body strength and gets the tap down. North through uh, Barnett not able to get the ball clear. And uh, umpire will call for the ball once again. So it's still in the region of centre wing with uh, Purvis. A nice tap down. Only as far there as Ferguson would, uh, is in a bit of bother. Doesn't know where to go. Gets the ball back to Nolan. Gee, they're mucking about with it north. Greed picks it up, breaks the tackle, and away he goes. That's what they need to do. Gee, ran a long way, almost uh, upset himself with the kick. Um, uh, good work by Zitko. Gets the ball to ground towards Zulik. Zulik, the left foot, out of bounds. Just blazed away. That's and, bad play, uh, that. He, he should have put that in the top of the square, Eric. Well, North Salong had players there. I think Paul Smith was running back pretty hard toward the goal square. Might have had some opposition, but uh, at the end of the day, you're right. The ball, uh, you can't score from where it is out there. So Simon Riddick will take the ensuing free kick. He's uh, actually, it doesn't look to be on the boundary. It's come a fair way back to where the ball was kicked from. Perhaps there was an incident in the play there that uh, we missed. But certainly Simon Riddick has the uh, free kick. Now he's whistled to uh, play on by the umpire. Goes right across the goal. Big torpedo at Fitzgerald sitting out there. His interleague teammate from last week, Michael Rowe, gets back to uh, make a contest. Now it's a one-on terrific battle, the two of them. And uh, finally, well, Fitzgerald has the ball under him. Does get it out to Scown. And a uh, nice bit of work there by North Geelong. Back towards Zulik at half forward and takes the mark. Well, goes to play on. Uh, is a little lucky because Jamie Weiss was just drifting down from the centre. I think Zulik really uh, went a bit too soon, Laurie. Wasn't too sure where he's going to kick it to, and Weiss gave him a target and has taken the mark 40 metres from goal. Every chance to kick this from there, I think. So Jamie Weiss, the ruckman, has done well so far with the man on the mark at 40 and uh, about to uh, move in, have a shot on goal as uh, Anarchy making a change in front of our uh, broadcast position as Weiss now. Moves in. Good looking kick off the boot. And he's drifted it across, but I'll tell you what, the I goal umpire has there, gone a long way across. That's a lovely it's goal a lovely to goal. Uh, Jamie Weiss. First goal of this quarter to North Geelong. They move to four goals, 327. They lead Anarchy two behinds. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard, eight and a half minutes gone. Yeah, well, I think uh, Jamie actually was in, uh, probably fortunate to be in the right spot as you called it, Eric, but uh, that makes him a better player if he moves forward and uh, becomes a goal kicking uh, forward option as well. So he's a big boy, and uh, when he gets up there, if he can kick a goal like that, it's sort of an acquisition to the North Long side. So I've watched Janicki, uh, they're flooding a bit too much. Uh, they're getting into the North Long's forward line, but they've got nothing when they go forward, Eric. Uh, they're not going to kick any goals. Uh, they might uh, keep the score down, but that's about all they're going to do. Back in the middle. Free kick. Going to North Geelong. Jamie Weiss has it. Handballs it away quickly to Al Zinger. Puts him under pressure. And turns the ball over to Purvis. He had a fresh air shot. Weiss kicked it off the ground towards Scown on centre wing. He chips the ball towards Rowe, who can run onto it and get around Cummins. 40 metres out from goal. High kick towards a goal square. One-on-one. -on -one. Zitko and Schulte. And it's through. No, it's out, no, it's out of bounds on the full again. <laughs> so we'll have another free kick in the last line of defence. Jason Habib, the coach of the Anarchy side, with the free kick. Now he goes with the right foot kick towards that 50. Off hands at the back row. And Anarchy had the numbers, but it is off hands and out of bounds for a throw in. 55 metres around from the Magpies goal. Rose done pretty well in a couple of contests out there. Laurie perhaps went outnumbered and uh, he's put a contest on and uh, kept the ball in there. Well, he's had uh, three kicks and three handballs, Eric, and uh, he's um, you know he's a good player and I think that's his spot. I real feel out there on the wing. So the ball was thrown in. It's uh, got to the 50 metre arc for North Geelong. Stacks on the mill, said the umpire, and uh, the ball will be put in the air for North Geelong on the 50 metre arc as umpire Berber's. Gets in amongst the big fellas and uh, picks up the footy. Puts it in the air. This time Purvis 
Gets the tap down against Fisher. Ball, well, stacks on the mill again. Well, the umpire's picked one out there. The first man under the pack is uh, who's getting up last. Habib's up and going back looking for the free kick. I think he might be going to be the one that accepts it. Simon Riddick was also uh, in that pack of players and Riddick's 20 metres away, accepts a pass now, takes the mark outside 50. Anarchy just uh, chipping the ball around, going nowhere at the moment at 10 minutes into uh, the second quarter. Now Riddick goes long to centre wing. Lovely kick from behind. Well, almost a mark there to Bowman, but the ball now comes back under uh, the players and on centre wing, the umpire will put the ball in the air once again. Almost back to centre circle now. As umpire Stokes puts it in the air, this time Weiss read it well, down to long staff, picked up by Zulik, kicks around the body towards centre half forward, Fisher out number three to one. The ball comes to ground, but uh, at ground level it is North Geelong. Uh, Barnett overruns the footy. Fisher, toe poke along the ground, picked up by Barnett, runs clear of a tackle, has a uh, pot shot. Well, Zitko's being held without the uh, the footy. I think the matter. ball might have gone through anyway. It has, it? Eric. Barnett, Barnett has kicked the goal. So Zitko doing well to uh, support with the shepherd there, but in the meantime, Chris Barnett has kicked his first goal. North go to 5 3 33. They lead Anarchy two behinds. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard, 11 and a half minutes gone. John Zulik, have you seen him before, have you? No, he used to play at Bell Park. He played at East Geelong and he was at Forest the last couple of years, I think. So uh, He seems a handy uh, player for him. He's, uh, I like his style. He gets the ball and runs with it and uh, that suits the North Geelong uh, style of play as well. So, uh, look, I think uh, uh, Anik uh, just formed in. They just haven't probably got the skill up the uh, centre of the ground. I think Jason mentioned that on Channel 31 with you uh, on your interview, Eric, through the week. They've played two or three players short of a good team. Weiss trying to get it down to Zulik through the middle, Fitzgerald upended, coming through McDonald, his kick was smothered, now punched back towards the centre half forward, numbers with the Magpies, kick away by Nolan towards the Magpies centre half forward position, Scown kept his feet, couldn't get the footy though, Miller got it away quickly towards Moore, he gets it back in the middle to Purvis, the big man slips over the crucial stage, now putting it through the middle was Cranage, oh, great, great pick sounds. up, goes with the right foot kick long towards Smith and Riddick, one out, Riddick gets uh, Smith close to the boundary line and then wheels back, gets on his hands and knees, has to get rid of the footy now, needs some support and the umpire said a kicking in danger and it will be a free kick to Anarchy. Simon Riddick I think. So Simon Riddick will take the free kick in between the back pocket and the half-back flank for the Ruse at the northern end. Some interesting quarter-time scores, Jason in GDFL. East Geelong, two goals, four trail. Thompson, four goals straight. Bannockburn, two goals, four trail. Winchelsea, seven goals, two. Belpost Hill, one goal, four trail. Inverley, six goals, three at Belpost Hill. Werribee Central's eight, three lead. Geelong West, two, two. And Belmont Lions, three goals. Just trail. Corio, three goals, two. So the ball will come back from uh, Cummins in the last line of defence. Has got it further afield and has found Ryder for Anarchy. Handballs it away to Cummins. So still inside defensive hit. Not much to kick to, so he just pops it up long. Tries to get it to the middle. Mongta. Oh, oh, good mark in front. Was it great? Yes, 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 great. yes. Having a very good first half. Yes, he, he he's is. He's playing very well. So Troy Greed still in the middle of the ground. Looking for something. There's not much on offer. Smith gives him a lead. He goes in that direction. In fact, he goes further afield to Rowe, who worked his uh, opponent underneath the footy, but then the ball went over his head and out of bounds for a throw in. Right forward pocket. Magpies into attack. Couldn't work with his hands out of the guy's back to uh, <laughs> put him in the air, could he? <laughs> yeah, Troy Green's having a good uh, first half, but he's got some footy smarts. He knows where to oh, go to get a kick. That's, uh, gee, who's that? Walton. Justin Walton. He's hooked his leg. In the fence, he's oh. gone over to get the footy. Oh no. So Boundary throwing Purvis got it down to Habib. Left foot kick towards centre wing. Can't pick the footy up at the first instance. Now Cranage handball to Nolan, gives it away to Zulik. He runs now, goes towards the lead of Smith, but Habib fills the hole, does well, the coach. And we'll chip the footy. They're calling for the trainer for the He's boy. been calling for the trainer for a while. He can't even walk, I don't think, Walton. Now Chris Moore's taken the mark. He chips the ball over the top, so now they're outside 50. And it will be uh, the ruse through Chris Fitzgerald at half back. Not much to kick to. He just holds it up now. He chips the ball towards the lead of Monta. Drop the chest mark. Magpies with the numbers. Through the middle. Greed again. Goes towards Smith on a lead. Long, oh, doesn't sit for him though. Goes past Schulte. Also on hands and knees. Moore got it back towards Schulte again. Wrapped up by Fisher. Loses the football. Smith right foot kick towards... Uh, 
the goals and also Michael Rowe who went through 4-1 behind from Paul Smith. So they go to 5-4-34 North Geelong. Anarchy two behinds. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard 15 minutes played. But that would be critical of Smith's line with his recovery. It's appalling oh, today. Look, look, you don't go for the ball one-handed for start for two. That or his boots are giving him trouble. He's having real trouble uh, with the ground, I think, with his footage. He uh, seems to be going over a lot and uh, it makes it look pretty ordinary. So Cummins kicks the ball in for Anarchy and the mark taken, diving mark there from Simon Riddick. Still inside defensive 50 and... Uh, this uh, Walton coming off the ground. I'm sure he got his leg hooked up in the fence as he went to get the football for the boundary umpire of all things. So Anarchy now with uh, possession onto uh, centre wing. Mark taken by uh, Hutchinson out there on centre wing. So the ball uh, slowly going forward for Anarchy. In the middle of the ground, well, Fitzgerald called his opponent uh, Jamie Weiss out on that occasion, but it failed to take the mark. Picked up by Barnett. Handball out wide to Elzinger. Good shepherding. Now the ball to uh, Michael Rowe has taken the mark. I think he was heading for goals. And uh, yeah, got a was. bit of attention there from Craig Cummins. But yes. uh, was no. able to withstand the pressure, take the mark. But I think if he'd have gone, he was heading goalwards. He's just inside 50. Comes back into the uh, middle of the ground, Jamie Weiss. Good positioning once again. Unfortunately, he's a bit too far out to have a shot at goal. Handball to Zulik. He runs to 50. He's got halfway to the goals, but oh, diving forward, Paul Smith on this occasion. And uh, Simon Riddick on that occasion slipped over. Smith just got away from him a yard or two and uh, took the diving mark as he fell forward. And it was uh, a shocking kick. <laughs> it was boot. a terrible Fair kick. Fair it was. It, uh, <laughs> it just uh, uh, emphasised the fact that when you're on the forward hole and you've got to be in front, and that's exactly where Smith was. Shouldn't have any trouble kicking this so one. So the man on the mark is 15 metres from goal. Paul Smith is dead in front, has yet to kick a goal today, but moves in there. Yeah. Full forward for North Geelong. Well, he's sprayed it a little, but I think he's got inside the big timber. He has. It is first goal to uh, Paul Smith and the sixth goal to North Geelong. 6 4 40. They lead Anarchy two behinds. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard, 17 minutes gone. Yes, well, uh, it was probably a bit of fortune, a bit fortunate there to be able to uh, just drop in front of Simon Riddick there and uh, kick the goal. But uh, he needed that goal. Uh, he's uh, had a couple of opportunities, hasn't kicked one yet, so he's uh, got uh, one, two, is it? Or? Yep, yeah, yeah, one so. goal, two. But uh, poor Anik, he just have no way of going forward, Eric. It's hard to see reason. where they're going to get a score, isn't no, it? No, they can't. They'll, uh, they'll just keep. Uh, working away there because they break down across the middle and that's it, turns over and it goes uh, quickly in the North Geelong uh, forward line. So back to the middle, Weiss gets it down again towards Harrington. And the ball from the middle, I think it might have been Fitzsimmons, gets it towards an half forward for Anarchy. Fitzgerald can't take the mark. Now off hands and across the half back line, the Magpies worked the footy towards the boundary line. Elzinger kept his feet, then he chipped the footy towards Scan in the middle, missed a target though. Purvis is there, the big man. Tries to break the tackle. Handballed it away to Longstaff over the top of it. Bowman now at half back. Little kick off the ground. Coming through Scown. Taps it on intelligently to Greed. Who breaks away. Kick was smothered though. And he keep a forward line working under pressure here. Handball came to Habib. Off a step. Right foot kick long towards the uh, 10 metre square. And it bounces through. 4 1 behind to Anarchy. So. Three behind the Ruse, and they trail North Geelong 6 4 40. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 19 minutes played. So uh, Simon Flack decides to chip the ball short and has Elzinger inside 50, takes the mark. Oh, terrible kick from Elzinger to a cluster of uh, anarchy players, but they can't control the footy. And by uh, long handball, it's gone into the arms there of Weiss. Nice shepherding. Allows a teammate in McDonald to pick it up, goes towards centre wing row, one against two, can't take the mark, but gets the ball to ground. As uh, now runs back pretty hard on the ball, he's tackled high, said the umpire. So Michael Rowe there has uh, the free kick out of centre wing and uh, chips the ball back in board. He's got, uh, well, Harrington just uh, inconspicuous at his size, that's interesting. Well, Smith, that's lovely. a great mark. Well, that was a much better kick, Laurie, and a much better lead from yeah. Paul Smith on that occasion. and. Uh, well, Brett Fisher's not at all comfortable about the uh, tension that Simon Riddick's putting on there, but uh, I think it's just a bit of show of strength, isn't it? Oh, I think that's all it was, and uh, yeah, that was a great mark. He uh, hit that ball hard, Eric, with his hands, and uh, he hasn't been doing that to this point in the, in the game so far, so he's got to be really switched on there. So the man on the mark is on 40. Distance shouldn't be a concern for uh, Paul Smith. Just kicked the last goal a few moments ago, and about to move in and have another shot on goal, 
as uh, once again that huge gap in the middle there it's uh, you'd like to see someone move into it but yeah. Smith doesn't need to worry sure. too much that's a much better control kick right over the goal and Pyle's head that's his second and that's the seventh now for North Geelong starting to get into a bit of gear in the second quarter seven goals 446 they lead Anarchy three behinds Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard 20 and a half minutes gone up with your fan club walking past Laurie <laughs> Yeah, that was a nice kick for goal too, Eric. He didn't have to uh, consider that one too much. It was fair over the umpire, goal umpire's hat, and uh, uh, they're just starting to show their uh, superiority now. And uh, you know, uh, Anik got to try and get a goal. I think that's uh, further so uh, gone into the forward line. Uh, Anik was that last kick of Jason Habib, which uh, scored a point. Back to the middle, Purvis gets the ruck contest down to Habib. Off a step towards centre-half forward, Elzinger reads it better, takes the mark, plays on from centre-half back, goes towards the middle, Barnett's taking the grab, a hot crate handball to Greed who ran past, and he goes towards Smith, ready in front, Smith goes up and takes the mark, no play on the call, umpire said, and the number's still with the Magpies, though, Zitko, handball over the top, under pressure from Fitzsimmons, and on hands and knees, had to try and get it away from Schulte, he's over the top as well, dragged it in, Fitzsimmons there, fighting hard for it close to the boundary line, the umpire said, throw it in, 50 metres around for the Magpie goal. That, that marking attempt could have been could have been serious <laughs> if it wasn't uh, so comical. Simon Riddick actually, his feet slipped from under him and Paul Smith almost landed on top of him after a, a big leap. And You can get hurt quite accidentally, can't you? Yeah, look, he was up fairly high too. It would have been a specky if he had been able to hang on to it. So, boundary throw in. At the back, Purvis got it down to the side of the pack. Ball spills free. And Greed gets back there. Close to the boundary line, little toe poke. Fisher tried to t tap it on as well. Now breaking free, handball came from McDonald to Harrington, 55 metres out. Zitko in front, nearly traps it, and then got a high tackle, I think. And play on the call. Anarchy might be able to clear. Can they, though, under pressure? Ferguson to put the uh, pressure on with the tackle. Still in the attacking zone for the Magpies. And the umpire says it's held in, and it will be. A ball up, left forward pocket. Not too long into attack. Mario copped a decent one. He's uh, yeah, yeah. just holding him up. He, yeah, he just. Uh, so, from the ruck contest, Ferguson got it down, but only as far as Habib. Right foot kick towards half uh, back. Magpies with the numbers. Zulik, he overruns it. Handball came towards uh, Grenfell. He can't take it with him. He's still over the top of it. Now he breaks free. Goes with a right foot tumbling punt towards the middle of the ground. The Magpies with the numbers. Weiss gets back there at first. Looks for a handball. Had long snarf at the back. But he elects to turn around and kick it himself. And kicks it to Barnett. So Chris Barnett, 60 metres out. There's a blood rule, I think. And that might be Mario Zitko coming off. So he's caught one around the uh, face as he came through for the, ruck cont uh, for the marking contest. Yeah, right on the nose, I think. Interesting to uh, see how that couldn't have been a free kick. I think that's what he's shaking his head about. Well, he might well be. It was only 20 metres from goal. So Cranage comes back on. And Chris Barnett has the football. 55 metres out from goal directly in front. A bit he's prepared to put the body on line. He's in the, in the hole. He's, uh, he's a fair kick of the football too, Chris Barnett. Don't know whether this might just be out of his range though. He comes in now. He leans back on a little bit. It holds up in the breeze. Smith goes up one-handed again. Off the back of the pack. Anarchy with the numbers. They draw it back to whence it came. Monk Monkta goes up and takes a very good mark at half-back for the Ruse. Goes a left foot kick out wide. The lead on by Dover. Weiss gets back there as well. Falls off the chest of Dover to Miller. Handball to Grenfell. Off a step was looking for a handball. Then his kick was partly smothered. And it goes to Bowman off the uh, back of the pack. Now Harrington got it away to Barnett. On his non-favoured right boot goes towards centre-half forward. Habib though does well. Handball indiscriminately towards Zulik. He breaks free. Goes a left foot kick towards full forward again. Anarchy with the numbers if it sits for them. Riddick can't take it with him. Now through the middle row. Got wrapped up. Got the handball away. Schulte. Now can pick it up and then lost it. Under pressure, kicks it out of bounds on the full. And Rowe will take the free kick. And if there's anybody on the ground who can kick a goal from here, it's Michael Rowe. <laughs> he made good ground to make sure he was nearest <laughs> player, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. So Michael Rowe will shoot for goal from 40 metres out on the boundary line. He'll have the breeze behind him. Be a tough one from there. He's just a mercurial sort of a Do you want to have $5 dollars loss? No, I don't. <laughs> he just you watched him last week. Oh, he's tipped the footy. And... He finds McDonald. 
So Ryan McDonald, who has kicked one goal already this afternoon, will shoot from 50 metres out. We'll see how he goes. He goes to the right foot kick. It's uh, in towards the 10 metre square. Purvis goes up off hands and through for one behind to the Magpies. So they go to 7 5 47 North Geelong. And he three behinds. Victory Trophy's first quarter school board, 25 and a half minutes played. So Cummins to a kick in for Anarchy, decides to go short. Gee, it's a dangerous kick, but uh, luck is a fortune. The mark taken by Fitzsimmons under a bit of pressure. So at centre half back at Fitzsimmons now. Long to the outer side, the lead from Fitzgerald. Can't take the mark. Crumb to the back, picked that well. Free kick, uh, whistle on play. The free kick is going to uh, the man in front, was uh, Anarchy. And. Uh, will be taken there by Moore. Moore to centre wing. The lead came from Mulder. Can't take the mark. Now he's under a bit of pressure. Chips it forward. The lead has come there, well, from uh, like Dover to me. Can't take the mark. Gee, they do well at Anarchy on that occasion. The kick back in board towards 50. Oh, oh good mark. Magnificent mark. One-handed. Just uh, plucked out of nowhere by Costello. Decides to play on. Ball was actually, uh, might have been... Uh, Smothered off the boot, Fitzgerald took the mark, not allowed, oh, throw there by the North Defence, which got away with it. And uh, the kick goes towards the boundary and over in front of the change rooms here at Osmond Park. 26 and a half minutes gone, second quarter, ball about to be put back into the air, deep in the attacking area for uh, Anarchy. Purvis, nice tap down, Habib unfortunately uh, over in the footy. Came to uh, Chris Barnett, thrown on the boot very quickly, and uh, more than happy, Anarchy, to see the ball over the boundary line off the hands there of Moore, ahead of Brett Fisher. And uh, can't see any value, Laurie, in him playing centre half forward. Well, I was just going to say, I think uh, Daryl James must have thought he played in the league with him a spell up forward because he's, he's had uh, two kicks in the first quarter, one in the second. I mean, that's a pretty uh, poor effort for uh, Brett Fisher, who's. Uh, well, the ball thrown in, uh, an umpiring uh, whistle there for a ruck infringement. It's gone this time to Purvis, man in front. Against done, a, done a right, this guy, Eric. Yeah. They're, uh, they're having a bit to say, the two ruckmen, just quietly. And a uh, nice kick from Purvis to half forward. Fitzgerald up and down early. Elzinger, pick up the crumb, try to do a soccer to advantage. Good work, Anarchy, get the handball out, looking for Moncta. He tries to come backwards with the footy, but Chris Barnett attacks it. Handballs to his own advantage, runs after it quickly. Well, unfortunately, when numbers uh, beat him, because picked up by Fitzsimmons for Anarchy, back towards half forward, but now Greed picks it up for North Geelong. In the middle, on his own, is Michael Rowe, has one bounce, eludes the tackle, doesn't bother, oh, he's running a fair way, decides to get it on the left foot, Smith in front against Riddick, great battle this, Smith does well, gets the ball to ground, picked up there by Fisher, over to McDonald, handball out to uh, Bowman, out clear on his own, kicks it along, oh, gee, yeah, where's had more time than that. Absolutely went begging, 20 metres out, missed to the left-hand side of the big timber, behind only, 7, 6.48, North Geelong, three behind Anarchy. Raiders Bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 28 minutes gone. So Craig Cummins from fullback for the Ruse. Kicks in short. And the mark taken by Riddick. So Simon Riddick. Looks to go to the outer side with a, what was looking like a torpedo punt. And tumbled over the back of the pack, looking for Sean Fitzgerald. Zulik's there as well. And can he keep it in? Close to the boundary line. He's hassled out of it by a couple of anarchy players. One of them that uh, was Bowman. Was Bowman. And it will be a boundary throw in. Laurie Fitzgerald is getting his hands to the footy in those contests a lot, but he's not hanging on to them today. No, look, I feel sorry for the guy, mate. It uh, brings my uh, memory back to that's why you have in the league, because he's playing in a good side last week, <laughs> and it makes it a lot damn easier than playing in a poor side. I'll give you the drum. So, from the boundary throw in, Anarchy had the numbers over the back. Grenfell's there as the siren sounds for half time. And it is North Geelong 7 6 48. They lead Anarchy three behinds in that quarter, one behind to Anarchy. North Geelong kick four goals, four. 45 points of difference at the moment. Break the goal kickers for the Magpies. Two each to Mario Zitko and Paul Smith. Singles to Chris Barnett, Jamie Weiss and Ryan McDonald. 45 points of difference. We'll take a break. Come back with the second half action of our match day live coverage this afternoon between North Geelong and Anarchy. You're listening to 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football.